Unlike the first generation PC oriented notebook design on the Snapdragon X Elite, this time designed for smartphone mobile platforms, performance, energy efficiency at the same time achieved a substantial leap, despite Qualcomm still claims that the second generation Orion CPU architecture has PC level performance, energy efficiency, facing Intel. AMD's latest notebook processors are no less, can even be, far ahead, Snapdragon Technology Summit 2024 The scene? Qualcomm showed a series of comparative data, quite amazing. Let's take a look, of course. Xiaolong 8 Extreme Edition is really tough, but the official comparison data, all understand, just look at it. First of all, the second generation Orion architecture compared to the first generation. Up to 30% performance improvement at the same power consumption. Power consumption can be reduced by up to 57% under the same performance. The power consumption curve of the second generation Orion is more excellent. From the official map, the highest is less than 10W. At this time, the performance has exceeded the performance of a generation architecture of more than 15W. Contrast Apple's latest A18 Pro. Multi-core performance leads by about 30%. Rabbit running score is more than 40%. Single core performance. Internet performance is basically the same. The next is the highlight. Challenge AMD. Intel PC processors. Compare Intel's latest second generation core Ultra 7256V. Up to 62% performance lead at the same power consumption. At the same performance, Intel consumes 190% more power. And by this time Intel had already peaked. The second generation Orion architecture still has room for improvement. As for AMD's latest Ryzen AI 9HX370, Qualcomm believes that its performance, power consumption curve is not as good as Core Ultra 200V series. Can achieve higher performance but also requires much higher power consumption? What's more, according to Qualcomm, a generation of Orion architecture can still kill Intel. AMD's latest product, plus. Qualcomm also emphasized that the second generation Orion architecture has full blood unplugged performance. That is, the use of the battery is still no loss. This may have been Intel's propaganda. Now Qualcomm says that if you don't plug in the electricity, you will lose a lot. The second generation Orion has an amazing 134% advantage over it, in Geekbench running points. All kinds of leading data summary don't ask, ask is far ahead. Landing to the product, that is, Xiaolong 8 Extreme Edition. Compared with the previous generation Xiaolong 8 Gen 3, it is also a full-scale increase, with CPU single-core performance. Multi-core performance is improved by 45%, and overall performance is improved by 62%. At the same time, energy efficiency is improved by 44% and GPU performance is improved by 40%. Among them, the optical tracking performance is improved by 35%, while the power consumption is reduced by 40%. Finally, attach the latest comparison of Xiaolong X Elite. Still crushing the second generation Core Ultra 7 series, leading performance by up to 10%. Power savings up to 38%. So what do you think about this? I, do you like to pay attention? I'll see you next time.